We are continuing today back with the band is, oh, this band is back, Reggie's Jam. Hope you guys enjoying the Julie and the Phantoms content. My name is Jacob Restituto. If you're just finding this one random video, well, welcome to the channel. My name is Jacob Restituto. I'm a musician from Northport, New York. And today we've been going through the series of uh, Julie and the Phantoms, the soundtrack versus the Netflix clip. They are pretty different on most occasions. Some of them are pretty similar, uh, but I'm definitely enjoying it. I'm highly surprised with the quality of the music and uh, so much so that I actually did a cover of uh, Emily Unsaid. So if you want to check it out, you, the hysterical thing about that, this is actually really funny. The hysterical thing about that is I have a friend named Emily who I've featured on a ton of my music. Emily Shewitt, you could see her on a ton of my music like uh, over and over again or you know, just so many of my songs. And I posted the cover on Instagram she, and she was like all confused. She's like, wait, hold on a sec. Did I help write this song? Because she didn't really, she had not heard that song before and she didn't realize uh, that she wasn't, that, that she was like, is, she, is this a song I forgot that I helped Jake write? Or it was, it was just funny, it was a funny experience. But let's go straight into this. This is, this band is back. We're gonna be doing the original versus the, uh, the like the soundtrack versus the Netflix. Classic rock feel. Acoustic, like classic acoustic. Like I could see this being like '70s acoustic. Come on, Reginald. Wow, nice panning. One, two, three, wow, hit. huge panning. Listen to the panning. You like my little coffee, coffee heater over there? I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's heating up my coffee. Huge panning, left and right ear. Huge panning. One, two, three, four, nice you, rhythm. Can you hear me? <laughs> Loud and clear. Gotta get, gotta get ready. So this is the first time we're really hearing major panning in the in the, the songs. I've noticed, like even in Bright, when I just did Bright, that the, the harmonies were kind of right in the center, and I was surprised about that. Here we're hearing, like if you're not using headphones, you're actually probably missing half of the song. Cause it's been years. Whoa, this band is back. Whoa, nice harmonies. This band is back. I really like the rhythm going on with that drummer, man. That's, it's probably, I, I assume I haven't seen the video yet. Probably doing some sort of like, you know, drumming on his kneecaps or something. Really clean acoustic guitar. I'm surprised that they have it panned kind of slightly to the right. I'm surprised they didn't record it in stereo, but I guess that's also playing into the fact of they're probably just chilling somewhere, like in creating that. If it was too overproduced, it wouldn't sound right. Nice. This band is back. It's killing, man. I like it. Music's really catchy. Nice. It sounds like they're just chilling, having fun. A nice fade out going out. So, I do not mind that fade out. I gotta say, sometimes and pretty often, I dislike fade outs just because of the fact that um, it, some, like, it, especially guitar solo fade outs. I, f I find them actually really frustrating. I'm like, no, I want to hear more of the guitar solo. Why are you fading it out? No, I want to hear more of it. Don't fade it out. This one was classy. I, I didn't mind it as much. I thought it was a pretty decent fade out. Let's see the clip that we got. Let's go right into it. Oh, wow, way more. So now they're adding that way, like, way more acoustic feel to it. Like, like you're really hanging out with them. It's not as panned to the right also has a lot more like just it's right like you're hanging out with him right there come on Reginald you can even hear the, the, the noise of the air like they're just in in their air whatever like they're it's almost like you recorded with your phone obviously higher quality but I'm saying that that natural ambient noise is coming through a one, two, three, four. and it's not as panning can you hear me <laughs> Yo, loud and clear gotta get gotta get ready Cause it's been years. Whoa. Oh, so we also have an introduction of, a, of that tambourine in there, this the random tambourine. Band is back. Whoa. This band is back. 
I like this version a lot more, actually. <laughs> That guitar rhythm is actually a difficult guitar. It's it's an underratedly difficult guitar rhythm to play because you would think it'd be easy just based on the fact of how they they structure it. And like it doesn't sound like there's a lot going on. But keeping that, it's actually harder to play simple than it is to play play actual tough rhythms. It's it's the weirdest thing, but it's actually harder to play simple guitar rhythms because you have to keep in time with a simple rhythm. If you're not you're doing a really you know fast, it's easy to keep you can keep that rhythm. But if you try to go da 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 da. Da, da, da. It's ha way harder to keep that rhythm. So, shout out to them, actually. Oh, this band is back. You won't find the speaker. It's direct spot audio. Heard about it in a TED talk. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Dead spot. I don't even know what that is. What is it? It's direct spot audio. Direct spot audio. I have never even heard of that. I gotta heard check about that it out. In a TED talk. So what, can people like not see them? But they can hear them? This version's way better. I gotta watch this series. I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless, have a great rest of today, and peace out.